This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Thank you for tuning back in to our channel. What is this channel? What is going on here? This is our store in Toronto, our coal store that specializes in corals and everything to do with saltwater tanks. Okay, what are we going to talk about today? I want to talk about the single fastest, hold on, maybe single fastest. What grows faster than GSP? Xenia. Xenia. Ray, what grows faster than GSP? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, that's kind of the answer I was going to. Um, maybe they're tied for fastest growing. Green star polyps. The one that Dylan just mentioned, just as fast, um, maybe faster, Xenia. These are two very easy to keep corals. Uh, soft corals. Actually, these two right here. Thank you for being perfectly where I needed you to be for today's video. This is an Anthelia, which is quite close to a Xenia, and this is a Kenya tree. Those three right there, along with green star polyps, some of the easiest, easiest corals to keep and grow. Why do I say easy? Because they'll thrive in just about any sort of tank conditions. Less than ideal, um, perfect, clean, dirty, high light, low light, wherever you stick them, they're just going to grow. So what we're going to do now is frag a piece because I want to see how fast do they really grow? I always tell people they grow so fast. How fast? Well, we're gonna check it out. Here's a really nice, healthy piece. I think I'll use this one. Actually, maybe we'll quickly show you how easy they are to frag as well. I'm going to Indonesia and Japan and Taiwan and all these lovely places in a couple days, so I thought this would be a good time to do this. What I'm gonna do is take our little piece of GSP. So what I'm going to do, sorry, is glue it right here on this little rock. Um, if you see our glass is kind of dirty, it's because we actually just had some snails spawn in the tank. But this is what I call GSP Island. And why do we put it on an island? Because it can grow quite fast. If I were to stick it, you know, on the base of this rock, it would really just take all of this over. You want to keep it on a rock that's really easy to move. Um, I don't know if I would really care because this is a, a soft coral rock anyways. We have some cool, some recordias that I want to do. A recordia garden, nice Florida recordias, mushrooms, um, some daisy and some leather corals. But it's... This tank is really, really easy to keep. This is our Pico, our Reef Casa, six gallon, all-in-one Pico. And that's gonna be our rock. That's where we're gonna stick it. And with the nice hair, our frag master here today, nice glasses, by the way, oh. is gonna show us how easy it is to pull a frag of GSP off the rock. Let's see. Usually when you buy it, it come on a plug, just like this is very typical to find in a coral store. And how's the, how's the foot? Is it really on there? Oh, that was quite easy. Hmm. And maybe we should just make a little frag to show how freaking easy it is to frag this thing. Okay, just for the purpose of this video, Dylan is going to show us how easy it is to frag some GSP. Some coral cutters. Again, you can grab these also on our site. And it has a little piece of rock under there. If it didn't have rock, we would just go ahead and use scissors. But you can go ahead and snap that. Let's show the YouTube. You cannot hurt this thing. Oh, that's it. Like, it looks brutal. Even from this one little itty bitty piece right here, if you were to glue that, you could regrow it. Like, from one tiny little nothing stem you can grow an entire colony you see each little nub has a polyp that's sticking out of it we're using our favorite glue here let's give it a little bit of love to bulk reef supply yes some plugs you see puts just a little bit of glue and it's that easy to frag it and that will now regrow into another one now with our leftover piece here take him over to our tank and we will show you how easy so this one will keep uh yeah throw them anywhere for now Fun fact about Dylan, he is very into orchids. You want to show him your tattoo? Oh. Orchid master. This kid can tell you every single freaking orchid out there in the world. Okay, sidetrack. Same idea. Little bit of glue. I like to use gloves. Dylan has a very steady hand, so he's not going to glue his fingers together. And we're going to stick it on a, a GSP Island, what I'm calling it. And watch how he just places it gently, super easy. Gives it kind of a shimmy. It kind of pushes and shimmies so that the glue breaks and goes into the rock. Oh, and there it is a little bit on his finger, but it's really, really easy to do. And that's it. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to leave the country. I'm going to go to Indonesia. I'm going to come back in 15 days. And let's see how the green star polyps look and do in that time. And then we can finally answer how fast do green star polyps grow. Boom. Okay. Wow. Check this out. Four months later, just over three months and the tank is looking really different. I'm going to get into the GSP in a second because it has completely taken over that rock. But I mean the tank in general. It's gone through some changes. Um, I expected this to grow a little bit more. That's our daisy polyps. You can see they've begun to encrust a little bit over the rock. 
the toadstool. Look at the size of this. The other leather corals. I kind of wish I picked up the camera once more and I sort of forgot <laughs> that I was making this video because so much time passed. But let's get into looking at the GSP, which was really the whole point of this video is to determine how fast does green star pearl really grow. How fast digs? She doesn't care. Okay, so, hmm, how big was that piece? Maybe half an inch by half an inch. So it is close to, I don't know, 10 times the size. It's completely taken over this little island here. Let me turn off the flow and show you from the top. And we've added some fish. Check that out. Completely took over the entire piece of rock work. So you can see in only just a few short months how much it's grown. It looks really healthy and it only grows faster. What does that mean? It grows exponentially. So a piece this size is gonna grow a lot faster than that original little one that we put in. As a coral gets bigger, it can consume more nutrients in the water and it can photosynthesize more. So this piece is gonna grow exponentially faster. These have also exploded. This is our blue pineapple tree coral. This is a couple, maybe four or five times bigger than the frag that went in. Dylan's crystal green Kenya tree also enormous i think i gotta pluck them out look how big they are it's looking really good but a little bit overgrown it is time for uh, a haircut our kenya tree over here has kind of let go and decided that he wants to be a recordia among a recordia garden we added a flower pot in that time and it's doing really really well look at that little clown oh he thinks that it might be an anemone wonder for the host also a couple acans and we're really running um very little on this tank we have an ato which is an auto top off to compensate for the evaporation. And we change out uh, filter floss and carbon in the back once a week. And then we do a water change every two weeks. So really, really low maintenance. Not a lot happens to this tank. We do our best just to keep our hands out of it, uh, clean the glass a little bit. We had a little bit of cyano here, but nothing that a little TLC can handle. Acans, we also added two of these. Acan Lords, they're looking really good. Um, some Yuma, overall tanks looking really really good and i hope that helps answer the question on how fast green star polyps can grow they do grow very quick i maybe we'll do a follow-up i'll let it sit for another i don't know three four months when i remember to pick up the camera and we can take another look at the green star polyps i think it might be cool to kind of push them towards the back wall because what they'll do is they'll grab on and they'll literally just grow and become that entire back wall um, but that's it. If you want to see another video, sorry, I'm just closing the stand. If you want to see another video about um, how fast a coral can grow, you can just maybe comment below which one you want to see next, and I'll do the same thing. We'll pop it in and we'll give it some time. We can even set up one of the other Reef Casa tanks to do that and just have like a dedicated sort of little growing coral tank to keep sort of documenting. Um, one thing to note though, you know, every tank is different, so corals are gonna grow at different speeds, but green star polyp is really one of those pieces that I, I never heard anyone say, uh, my green star polyp isn't growing or it's growing slowly. Anyways, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe so you can get notified when we do this again on the channel, and we will see you guys next time. Man, these clownfish are so cute. Bye for now.